foundations for the new Tappan Zee Bridge will consist of foundations bearing directly on rock and friction piles. We've got a young engineers working on this project and for some of these, these will be a, a real career maker for them. Uh, the, the grand nature of the project, it's three miles long. Uh, we've got 1,100 piles that are vary from three feet in diameter to six feet in diameter. They are driven to various lengths. We have on the Westchester approach, uh, it varies from as little as 50 feet to as much as 250 feet. Those are all end bearing piles, so they'll be bearing on rock. And then we get out to the Rockland side on the approaches. Those are friction piles and those vary anywhere from 250 feet all the way to as much as 330 feet. The friction pile, the material around the pile creates a suction or a vacuum and the, the pile stays in place and it won't move any further. We're putting up to seven million pounds on these things. The hammer that we're using to install these piles is one of the largest hammers that's ever been used up in the Northeast. So what you see in the background here is uh, our big hammer. It's our S8800 hammer and it's driving our 48 inch piles to a uh, to bedrock. It's a, a double acting hydraulic hammer. It's approximately 50 feet long and it weighs about 190,000 pounds. The hammer comes up about six and a half feet and drops the, the weight, which is 90,000 pounds. The maximum energy of the hammer is about 590,000 foot kips. Ouch. You don't, you don't put your foot underneath it. Once we get out here, we found out that just as big a challenge was driving piles down on an uneven bedrock surface. We're actually taking them down at a very low energy, advancing the pile, and then chiseling them into the rock by a large number of blows of the hammer with a relatively small energy. And by doing that, we were able to chisel them into the rock a little bit and then hit them with a, a, a few large blows to just confirm capacity. We have some environmental concerns that we have to be uh, aware of as we drive piles. We have an endangered species in the water, they're sturgeon, and we have a bubble curtain, which are literally rings that are put into the water. That bubbling mitigates the noise of the impact hammer as we're driving, so the fish don't hear the actual driving of the pile. Our second concern is mitigating our uh, noise to our neighbors. You can see on the pile hammer there's a black corrugated shroud. That's a noise shroud, and that's a big help for us to allow us to drive our piles. We had a special procedure for driving the piles, and in doing that, we ended up using one-inch wall pile. Just to put it all in perspective, if we went from a one-inch wall to a one-and-a-quarter-inch wall, we would have increased the price of this project by north of $30 million. This project is a once-in-a-lifetime type of project. A project of this magnitude that's built from scratch is not often done, so it's a unique and interesting project. Thank you.